this month, Chef Kevin Belton is sharing some of his favorite recipes and the memories that go along with them. And this morning, it's his mother's holiday gumbo recipe. Yeah, she made the holiday gumbo that had a little bit of everything in it. Mm, so mm, we have smoked mm. sausage, we have andouille, we have hot sausage, we have crab, we have shrimp. But you know the kicker for a gumbo? This unorthodox roux. Is the roux. And yeah, everybody always knows it's equal amounts flour and oil. Sure. If you're going to be home one evening, okay. turn the oven on 350, 375, take a baking pan, put three to four cups of flour, about an inch high, keep it at least an inch away from the sides. And basically put this in the oven because okay. and the reason why you want it close away from the sides is because the faster it cooks, closer to the sides. Every 30 minutes, yeah. take a spatula and just kind of break it up. Just break it up and I've stir never it around. Heard of this before. And you can see the little chunks in here. Okay. So you have to resift it. So if you notice here, we have white flour. Mm -hmm. Look at the difference in this color. Wow. This has been baked in the oven. The longer you cook it, the darker it gets. So that saves you some time. Let me show you how it saves you time. Okay. Here I've sauteed a little onion, sour, green pepper. Okay. Now let's just take a little bit of our roux. Throw this in. All right, this is the base for gravy. You know, instead of having to stand there, stirring oh, it forever. Nice. Now, okay. I'm just using a little water, but I always like to cook with stock. As soon as this heats up and comes together, this is gravy. That's all it is. But wow. see the color? Because our flour has been cooked in the oven. And plus what's nice about it, it saves on the amount of oil that we have to use. Oh, okay. So we don't have to use that oil like we did in the past. That is so interesting. I've All never right. heard of this before. And my favorite part of the gumbo, you got whole crabs in here. I have whole crabs Let's in here. You know, it's like when you cook something on a bone, like you. when you eat something on a bone, how you get that flavor. Yes. Well, when you put the crabs in, the gumbo in the shell, it's a different flavor. Now, something that we're gonna do, right before we're ready to serve this in the last five minutes, we're going to put in shrimp, and I like to put in loose crab meat. Oh, okay, so you do that last. Because everybody doesn't like to pick crabs. Yeah. And you know what else? We have rice, okay, but also in the refrigerator, potato salad. Mm. Mom never made gumbo without potato salad. So we're going to be making some potato salad, gang. we got our rice cooking. But try this cooking this route. That will save you so much time. 350 degrees. Every 30 minutes, take a spatula, stir it up. And, and I tell you what, it works. All it right. absolutely works. And of course, to get all of his recipes, you can log on to WWLTV.com, click on the morning show page. And I know all those recipes are online. It's the first of a series of e-cookbooks, right? Yes, we have some wonderful stuff. It's the first of a series of e-cookbooks, which you can download at WWLTV.com. The first one, it's all about the holiday recipes. All right. And it's all a part of the station calling it 360 Project. For 300 years, you know, we're, hey, we're celebrating 300 years in New Orleans. Uh-huh. WWL is celebrating 60 years. So it includes recipes from me. I got to go through the recipes that Frank Davis did. Plus the folks at Cajun Country Rice, they threw in some recipes. And you know, their history tidbits from the Southern Food and Beverage Museum, SoFab, more than 35 recipes inside. And best of all, it's free. And you guys can get it at now, at www.tv.com slash food. Oh. WLTV.com slash food. Definitely check it out.